Hi, so we've done quite a few things about trash and about how to reuse it, because that's not really the point. The point isn't so much to reuse trash. I mean, yeah, sure, that's really cool. But the point is to start rethinking things and repurposing them and using creativity and seeing what else you could do with stuff. Now, as an example of that, and this is mostly for people who don't fancy digging in bins, I bought this from my local supermarket. It's a four inch USB desk fan and it cost me three pounds or about four dollars, four dollars fifty, something like that. Extraordinarily cheap. So is there anything we can do with it? Well, of course there is. I mean, the first thing that comes to your mind is a wind generator. So we have a look at this. Now, it is pretty cheaply made and that's not a surprise. And in there is a motor. That motor is either going to be a uh, DC magnetic motor or a brushless DC motor. But let's get it apart and have a closer look at it. So undo those three screws and undo those three screws and this is what you get. So when you've taken it apart, this is what you get. The front cover, the rear with stand mounting and wire, and then this central bit, which is this rather horrible pressed aluminium fan with a screw. In there, there's also a little on off switch that just switched the positive and that went in the back there. This is a straightforward DC motor in a plastic body made to fit to the metal and then it has this attached to the spindle which is going to make everything a piece of cake. So all we really need to do is replace that with some blades big to catch the wind and we have made ourselves a generator. So let's make some large blades. Obviously there's a ton of ways of making fan blades. I'm just going for a way that's really quick, really easy, really cheap and I'm using this stuff. This stuff is sheet plastic you find in the back of LCD screens and TVs and I have loads of it because I recover it from them. But a bit of card will do just as well. All you do is cut yourself a square, mark the diagonals, two thirds of the way down, cut a slit so you get a kind of Maltese cross. The original fan blade, I flattened it out, put a bit of st double sided sticky tape on the back of it and that just gets attached to the centre. And then we take corner to corner and we fold the corner to the center and then the opposite one to the center and so on and stick those down with a bit of double-sided sticky tape. Okay, so when we've done that, it looks like that and all we've got to do is screw the whole thing back together. Now, there is one other thing that I've done with this motor. I've put a bridge rectifier in it. Now, if you want to know how to do that, I've done a video about bridge rectifiers called How to Make a Bridge Rectifier, where I go into detail for turning uh, DC motors, which really give AC output, into DC generators. If you happen to have a brushless DC motor in there, then have a look at the video all about BLDC motors that I did, where it's exactly the same. I show you how to take that output, rectify it, and get a DC output from it. So I put a bridge rectifier in there because we've got a ton of space, and now all we have to do is screw everything back together the same way we took it apart. And there it is back together. Now it is basically a pinwheel windmill, so it turns really easily in the lightest of breezes. Uh, we don't have a breeze, so if I just quickly put a hairdryer on it, Of course it spins. I mean, it's going to spin in the lightest of breezes, like I say. Now, don't expect great things out of it. You'll get a volt or so and a few milliamps. You can light an LED, that sort of thing. It's not really the point of it. The thing is, it cost me about £3.50 and about an hour's work. And it shows all the basics of wind generation. You've got the blades, the blade design, the mounting, the motor, the motor conversion, the uh, general setup that you need to mount it to, rectification, all that sort of stuff is contained in this little demonstration here. So, fantastic for something like a science fair or homeschooling or uh, having a look at blade designs without actually building a full scale mo a full scale version you can actually use this and the fact that we can interchange those blades to look at different blade designs to see which one gives you a better output I'm a great one for experimentation. I believe you should experiment with something rather than theorize about something it's awesome theory does help but theory sometimes is a bit of a shackle for people. I think it's better to experiment. And those experiments don't need to cost you an absolute fortune. So that's been the point of the video, really. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.